To know who we are, where we are, and where we're going, we must know how we arrived here. Welcome to Rephetic, a revolutionary study of the Great Pyramid, which promises to rewrite civilization's history. Good day. Welcome to Rephetic Podcast. With me, Chris Rodriguez. Chris, say hi to the viewers. Hey now, hey now. Trump 2024. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that, was that your plan? <laughs> I've been thinking about it all day. I figure that'd be a good icebreaker, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That sure is. Take a little two. Promo- <laughs> <laughs> a little promotion Cut for that. the American, you know, the great Americans. Yeah. Out there. There are great Americans. <laughs> uh, all right. So what are we doing? We're going to talk about life, you, the... The idea of rephetic or uh, self-examination, the, the, it's couched in the perennial questions, right? Which is what, you know, I've talked to, you're my fourth guest now, but we've talked about the result of, like, the Great Pyramids are just the vehicle to get us to, uh, like, the conclusion, which is to make a perennial assessment. Who are we? Where are we? Where we're going? And how did we arrive here? That everything's based on that. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh uh, well, um, yeah, I was thinking about that today and uh, about myself, <laughs> <laughs> like most days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I was thinking about how, like, how how upset I get. I get I get really frustrated when I'm thinking about myself and stuff that's going on in my head. When somebody interrupts me, this guy interrupted me today. Oh yeah, and I was in deep thought of, and and I wasn't busy, but I was doing something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But this guy interrupted me, but I was in like thought of my own shit. Like, you know, I, I'm listening to music, I'm jamming out, but I'm thinking about, you know, just whatever, where I'm going in my life. Oh yeah, you know. And uh, ruminating, yeah. And this guy like interrupts me, and and that's been, and I was really frustrated for a minute. But I, right, I obtain it to him yeah. automatically. It's his fault. It's his fault. Right, quit banging on the no, table. no banging. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's his fault that he interrupts me. Oh yeah, yeah. And distracts me. Right. On my. Gr- grand fucking whatever fucking thought process I'm going through. So, I mean, that's been going on forever. But here's the thing. Like, uh, I'm out of prison for months. Uh, Sober nine months. Uh, Yeah. Oh. Don't really know what's going on out here. Yeah. Same thing that's always been going on. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, pretty much. So four months out of prison. What mm-hmm. uh, what'd you go back in for? Uh, just a probation violation. Right. Yeah. And then, uh, okay, so tell, tell us, like, what's your, how much time have you spent in prison? Probably 10, 12 years. But I, so I basically, 10, 12 years total, probably right. incarceration, about 20 psych ward appearances. Right. About, uh, I was thinking like another 20 like treatment detox centers, you know? Yeah. And it's like been an ongoing cycle in and out. So like being out now is like, <laughs> what? Like what? Is it like wait? I mean, what do you what do you expect? I mean, think if you were me, mm-hmm. right? What would you expect? I mean, it's hard. It's hard, right? Because well, this does not just apply to you, but everybody. We're just in a cycle, right? We're in a a rut, a cycle. It's both. Uh, practices or habits, patterns of thinking, right? Synaptic patterns. We're in a we are in a cycle, whether we think so or not. Like well, I'm playing a game. I'm playing a game against how peaceful I am. And 
right? Right. It's just all day, every day. It's like, well, this, this can disrupt it. This can disrupt it. it well, we talk about stimuli. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter what the stimuli is. The stimuli could be it's raining. Stimuli could be ah, broke a shoelace. The stimuli could be the dog's in a mood, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. The stimuli also can be negative thought, resentment, uh, self-pity, right? Or take the flip side. And this is where, this I think is where the yin and the yang and the liabilities meet, okay? Is I can, if I, if I, this is also where delusion comes in, right? Like, do I want to be a realist? Then I exist right between the yin and the yang, right mm-hmm. between the liabilities and the assets. Do you want to be one of these positive thinking gurus that goes around just, you know, rainbow, rain, uh, you know, rainbows and blowjobs all day long, which is delusional, right? Yeah. Life's not yeah. like that. I lived with a lady like that for a while. <laughs> okay. But uh, it's not real. Yeah, she, well, yeah. Neither, no. neither is the negative waiting for the shoe to drop, the self-pity, the world's out to get, but none of that either. I'm not talking about you, but in general. But the delusion, right? Like the, the delusion is like uh, uncomfortability, right? Yeah, discomfort, which, okay. Yeah, or dis discomfort, okay. Right, yeah. which is goes back to this, uh, 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 like, a, what would you say? Like the self awareness, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So this uncomfortability starts very young for whatever reason. Okay. And people point and, and they fucking put it on whatever. But it's like at that uncomfortability, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Uncomfortable in our own skin, right? right. And it could how be, do yeah, I, going, how going. Do it could I, be maladjustment. Life is life is life for all 8 billion of us. Could be trauma. Could be this. Could, could be that. Any but number either of things, way. Right? Nature, nurture. Yeah. Is it the environment? Is it the DNA? Is it the whatever? Right, right. right. Okay. So, and then like this delusion that I have to come up with some narrative, right? Okay. Right. Yeah. Which there's plenty of stuff in the world. And, uh, like in my mind, latch on to, to like, uh, almost write my own self narrative so I can live this, you know, to where I feel comfortable. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. We talk about sanity a lot. Right. And stuff. Yeah. Right. It's like uh, where I feel most comfortable, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but without those stimuli, though, yeah, right. I don't feel a part of. You're doing a lot of this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I talk with. You know what? Okay. It's fine. But it's like it's like uh, you know, it's like sports, for instance. Right, right. You know, you play sports. You get involved with a group. You get involved with. You know, team sports, brotherhood, partnership, whatever, Mm -hmm. right? Makes you feel a part of, makes you feel comfortable in your own skin. Right. Uh, For whatever reason. But it's like, it's almost like, uh, I don't even know where I'm going with this, though. Because, but I wanted to go back. Oh, I got a question for you, though. Mm. And I've been thinking about this today because I was thinking about the Trump 2024 thing. You know what I mean? And I was like, I was like, well, you know, you got this book going on yeah. and, and okay. this idea. And right. I was like thinking, I was like, I wonder if if this guy, you know, you call him the buffoon or whatever. Right. So it doesn't matter what uh, I call so him. So what if he's, <laughs> he's like, a, he's got a, listen, hold but, of your book. Oh. Or your idea, right? Okay. And wanted to fund, right? Or the, put some money yeah, or yeah, some yeah, backing yeah, yeah. to your mm-hmm. exploration mm-hmm. of this, you know, rewriting history and yeah, all yeah. this stuff like right. that. What if? I mean, how, yeah, in your well, mind, how would that play out? Is this a question? Really? <laughs> yeah. Is this really a question? <laughs> I wanted to hear the answer. Well, because. It, okay, here's what you need to understand about this. So even by asking the question, here's what you set up. We got <laughs> Bozo funding Bozo. my research. Yeah, the and, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or an appeal to the audience. Mm-hmm. And who would I love to accept funding from? Mm. Right? There's, it's never the, the answer that you think it is. There's never just A or just A and B. It's how about A? Eh, maybe not. I mean, him, really not. B, 
maybe the viewers, maybe, or C, how about any number of uh, 150,000 other people, right? My point is this, I wouldn't go in, I wouldn't let that guy watch my dog. <laughs> no, I'm just honest, I'm honest. Okay. Well, I'm just saying like self, self-awareness, self-examination. Okay. Right? Yeah. Let's be honest about who we are. Okay. And let's put ourselves in situations. Okay. For instance. Okay. Right? Yeah. But you got because any other what I learned, hypotheticals what, you know, about this? Well, I mean, you really learn who you are when you get into those tough, tough situations. Oh, so a tough call yeah. or whatever. So, yeah, yeah. And you really, when the heat's on, when the pressure's on, yeah, when yeah, there's yeah. an important decision, right? I, I think you know what I've always when you're seen most uncomfortable, and, and you can tap into. You talk about you know this grace, peace, serenity, whatever, right? Right? You really find out the true mm. nature of your your yeah. Deal. When it's crunch time, sure, yeah, whatever, yeah. Because a lot of people sell out. They say, well, you know. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. what's up, like, Donald? What's up, Donald? Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a trip. Yeah, that's all fine. And I, I think, you know, him, I, again, I don't even want to talk about him, but uh, the, 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 there is a big tendency for, for other people to exploit other people's desperation even, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Or you want to do this or you want to be that. Well, I can help you. Mm-hmm. But then you just like robbing everything from people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like all. It's like those recording industry con tracks or t- right taylor swift mm-hmm. this that whatever mm-hmm. kanye mm-hmm. it's like hey i'm gonna lock you in at 49 percent. what do you think about that i'm mm-hmm. gonna make you a billionaire right right okay fine print all your ideas i'm stealing them your identity i'm stealing it prince couldn't even use his own fucking name <laughs> outside of the contract <laughs> no no this is factual yeah Okay, so well, so question is, let's say Trump, whatever holdings, a guy with thirty eight hundred lawsuits against him. Do you think I would come within a yardstick of going into business with that guy? Not a chance in the world. Period. Not a chance in the world. Yeah, but not because of his. Why? Why though? He's is, dishonest. He can't be trusted. Period. That's mm-hmm. it. That's all the reason you need. But yeah, but this. Yeah, but and I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying in general. But anybody. Oh, but there's the money. Oh yeah, but no. There's people who are genuine. And then you can go. Oh yeah. Well, let's spell out the specifics in a contract. So how would you sense? Like anyway, for instance, instance. I, I dismissed like, the it, question. Okay, okay. <laughs> so well, let's move you know, on. the let's reason why on. I bring that up in 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 self examination, there's like you know, you mentioned the prison thing, but you know, you go to prison, right? And and in my experience, like I was I was completely lost. Not more, not you know, not really even found now, but through the prison experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're thrown in a cage with a bunch of people, a bunch of men that are uh, very much, uh, it, they're like mirrors, you know? Yeah, And yeah. you see yourself, and you see yourself in these individuals day in, day out. Right, you know? stuff you like, but really uh, the stuff you don't like. So, yeah, you know, so it's like, it's like I really started realizing, because I didn't really realize how angry I was till I started going to prison. Mm -hmm. But I was angry way before that. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, this whole thing, and and what it brought aware over the time that, you know, and it took a while, obviously. uh, But I think, like, the last few times I was in prison, I really got... You can't hear? Hey, watch it. It's just better when you're speaking into it. But I can't... uh, Yeah, I'm a a mover. (laughs) Don't worry. But anyway, so... I, uh, you know, getting really engrossed with who I was, who I possibly could be. Right. Right. What I'm capable of. Right. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and who I don't want to be all those things. Right. You know, but having to be honest with myself, like, yeah, there's a this long dude's a grade a fucking maggot. Right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And there's a big gap between but where I'm, you are. And I'm where rubbing you shoulders go. with them every yeah, day. I get it. You know? Yeah. So, 
it's like, uh, I don't know. So that's what I said. It's like this Trump guy or, or the people in the world that you look at that kind of rub us the wrong way, right? It's like, what yeah. is to be learned from these people? Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, okay. I mean, first thing is it just obviously to recognize that that's why people rub you the wrong way. It's because they're highlighting. You spot it, you got it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Super simple. Right, right. It's like whatever I dislike in me, when you show it to me, I really dislike it. It's right, just like right. it's glaring. Right, right. So that's super simple, but you got a lot of time to think. You got a lot of time to read. You got a lot of time to explore these mm-hmm. I- ideas or thinkers or books or whatever. And so obviously prison time is not in vain. You're, you know, you're being punished for a crime, et cetera, et cetera. Do you want to talk about your, I'm just saying, the, the, <laughs> the picadillos? What happens when you drink and drug? Uh, well, uh, yeah, and that's, um, I don't even really, uh, I don't know now. You, I, like I, you can't you know, remember yeah. or there's so many blackouts. What do yeah, you mean? Yeah, yeah. It's know. like, it's like, uh, I can, I can tell you. And I was telling Patty on the way over uh-huh. here of an incident where I was down in St. Louis and I was at a hotel and she was saying that she, she likes sniffing. I, I didn't know she didn't oh, do drugs. Yeah. She never done drugs. Oh, right, well, right. well, she's sniffing at Drink, all. Whatever, well. Okay. And I was like, uh, oh, just on the so weekend. That's interesting. Right. So, uh, but I, I went on an Adderall kick for like a few days, you know. But uh, basically, I just, you, you know, things just black out. You just do. It's like now there's no way to actually account for it. it it's just like time missed, you know blackouts yeah. big time and and i i used to tell i would i'd be uh talking about it's like time travel you know right because i would i would start like one day i had this idea and i was just like uh you know i i start drinking and drugging right somehow i cross that line into a blackout and then i lose however much time right days and i was a just week, like yeah. yeah i'm like that's like time travel you well, know, it and in my head, but it's not, I mean, but might seem the same who account and where did I go <laughs> and what did I do? Oh, but <laughs> you know, driving through Ferguson is not the same as time warp. Well, you know, and then you come to in the woods and stuff. And then like, you know, <laughs> these, <laughs> you know, with a, with a, you know, oh. a cell phone, you're trying to find your way out of these woods. You don't know what's going on. Yeah, I read that book. Uh, what's that book? Uh, Oprah did a big thing, and then he ended up being a fake. Oh, a or million something. little pieces. Yeah, guy, and James he comes Fry. to yeah. on the on the plane. Yeah, but I was listening to the, I was listening to the big book earlier. Well, a couple of days ago at work, and that blackout stuff's been going on. That guy, you mm-hmm. know, going around and the he he can't account for days. Yeah, yeah. You know, and listen, most listen. Just let me just inject. Most people do not experience blackouts. Most people have no idea what we're talking about. Most Mm. people, moderate, temperate drinkers or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean you can't remember? What do you mean you're lost Mm -hmm. for days or a week? They just come to in the woods? Yeah. That, okay, I just want, I just wanted to inject. But that was like, that's, that's like the, the. I just wanted to inject that. That it's just not normal. Yeah, but that was like the the whole objective. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Which right. is which is just to escape the present mode, right? The way you think, the way you right. feel, the yeah, way, the way life's going on. But see, okay, okay. Because I used to, I remember I drank for a while, you know, yeah. and uh, when I when I first started drinking. I was drinking and uh, like people be doing drugs around me and stuff. I'd be like, I was really scared. Like, Ooh, uh, I don't know. But you know, I wanted to, you know, that was my history too. I get it. I I see what I want. You know what I'm saying? I want to feel like them people, you know? Uh, But I was another way. It's just another way. Yeah. It's just another way to escape. But it was interesting, though, like uh, my experience with them, because I was real, you know, uh, pussyfooting around with the stuff for a while. Well, yeah. Why do you think this is? Why do you think this is? But 
uh, very, very, why, why do I think what if? Why, why were you hesitant? To oh, like, well, you know, I, yeah. <laughs> just leave it. Just, Is or, it okay? Yeah, it's fine. A little beep here and there. I don't want to upset It just doesn't need it. No, no, no. You could have put it on silent <laughs> no. like all the other adults. But anyway, so <laughs> just like. Love other, you, buddy. The other adults. Yeah. Uh, so, but, so the drinking and drugging, the going to the extreme. Uh, from the very get-go, though, it was as much. And I can't, I can't really tell you that. I, the drinking has always been like full bore as much as I can, right? as often as I can, you know, the drugs I was really scared of. Yeah. And I guess it's because my mom told me my, 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 uh, uncle took some hits of acid and he went off and he, and he thought the aliens were coming in the fucking, yeah, right. you know, and would come and eat his ice cream and, and all kinds of weird shit. And aliens like, like, oh ice man. Cream. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I was like, Jesus man, uh, that kind of freaks you out. You know what right. I mean? So I'm just like, well, and I remember I was thinking the other day about, uh, the, I tripped acid the first time I tripped acid, right. you know, I only took like half a hit and I was like, but all these, uh, the, my friends, they were, they were tripping balls, you know, mm-hmm. having a good old time laughing and whatnot. And, uh. So it really didn't kick in for me. So I had to go back and buy some more and then ate some more. But I remember riding down the street. It was like it was snowing and stuff. It was like there was just piles of cocaine everywhere. Like, you know, and it was like I knew at that point in time that it's like I, I want I want to bend my mind as much as possible. You know, this altered state of reality or right, whatever. Right. And it was always like that's the goal. Right. You know, but, you know, in the end, though, because I'd always come back. But in the in the in the end, though, mm-hmm. there's been instances where this was very suspect. touch and go, whether you're coming back or not. Yes. Yeah. Right. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Right. And yeah, 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 yeah. I guess. So uh, like, I'll just I'll just tell you this last little escapade. Like, I don't even know how long, but I was walking down here on Main Street, and I was just, like, so, like, out of reality. Like, my whole mission, the whole narrative in my head of what I was doing and how everything was going on was very un... Yeah, uh, un- unhinged, not connected to... not really connected to reality no yeah yeah yeah. no and a meth you know, meth induced very psychosis like, yeah, stuff, all that. you yeah. know the voices uh delusions all this right, stuff right right but in in uh, and in know. the past too you've been medicated in the past too right yeah yeah okay yeah. well no, <laughs> saying, like, that's to be as much of. as possible no i i'm not talking no, no yeah about, yeah oh yeah I'm not their drugs about, the government's oh. drugs yeah yeah they've given me lots of drugs but too. what i'm talking about is now here you are you're how many months out four uh, yeah 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 so mm-hmm. you did four you're out for four mm-hmm. give or take yeah, whatever yeah. the dates are right mm-hmm. was it june 9th june 9th yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay so mm-hmm. now now you didn't get remedicated while you were in, right? No, no. And then since you've been out, you're not medicated. No. Other than nicotine, caffeine, and yeah, as much. <laughs> anyway, what, what were you sorry, gonna say? Pussy? No, no, yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> well, hello, I pussy. Wanna, yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> in polite company, you know, it's just us. But uh, Virginia. Yeah, you? I don't yeah. need. I don't. You know, we don't need this stuff mm-hmm. uh, demonetized. Or whatever. Right, right. Not that there's any oh. money to begin with. Okay, so we are you distracted out well, the fucking a, window? No, you okay. know, yeah, no, just the, you stay know, right here. And okay, then occasionally, okay. Patty's here. Patty, the audience is here. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trump twenty twenty. Oh my goodness, twenty twenty. That's over. Four. Yeah, you got it right. The first so time. here's the thing. Anyway, uh, oh my god, if you never mention Trump again, it would be too soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go well, on. Well, you know, I was, and I'll tell okay, you. Okay, let me just keep I this was, on the rails. I remember when he started doing his little fiasco. Right, <sighs> I was in prison, yeah. and I was like, oh man, I was a fan. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like <laughs> this fucking guy. Wait, right, wait, right. Hold on, huh? No, I got to tell you this. 
But it, incarcerated and, Trump fans? Yes. yes How yes. many? And and I would watch and I would be like, I'm like, who is this fucking guy? You know, where did he come from? You know? He's just Out of a the, populist rabble rouser. Yeah. It was just it was I I guess, you know, me being like, you know, fuck the fuck, you know. Just a, a real uh, okay. Uh, I get it. You know, right. just you're trying abstract. to feel better about yourself. You're putting other people down. Oh yeah, absolutely. So you fully absolutely. identify with Trump. Oh yeah, I get. Yeah, it. yeah, I understand. Yeah, okay. and that's something, right? That's something right there. So basically, so you know, you watch this guy a little bit, but you know, through the time, Next, it's like this guy's know, fucking but, okay. You know. Fucking out make of this his about you mind. though, or we're gonna skip subjects because I don't do want to fucking talk about him. No, no, no. I'm saying, but I'm just saying. What did you learn through that? You know, uh, you know, the only thing I agree with him is how he feels about his daughter. That's the only thing, you know. That she's hot, <laughs> and he wants and to he fuck her. Oh, you know, so it's just like you know this whole deal with <laughs> with with this guy at the end is like fuck this guy, you know. He, he's uh, uh, um, he's fucked up, but January 6th, you know, so. Okay, tell me about, speaking of daughters, mm -hmm. you have a daughter. Yeah. Do yeah. you have any other kids out there? That yeah, yeah, I got a 20, I think he's 22, 23-year-old okay. son. Okay, mm -hmm. do you talk to him much? No, no, no. Through my incarceration and everything, uh -huh. lost touch. Okay. You know. Uh, and listen, and, I'm but, not trying to drill no, on no, you. No, 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 okay. no, no. But, you know, if there's through, anything you don't want to talk about, we'll just skip it. No, no. Okay. No. Uh, through my addiction and criminal behavior, you know, I basically uh, started going to prison, lost touch with them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they just kind of excommunicated me from the situation. Yeah. What, but and why have, is that? I tell us. Tell me why that is. I just want. Oh, why is that? Well, just I, I just stopped showing up. Why do people distance themselves? from the alcoholic or the drug addict? Well, because I was just, I was kind of like, a, I, would, I would just say menace. I was a menace. Okay. Right? And not in the sense of... Okay, N other reasons. A criminal. I, no, 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 right? I understand. But in the sense of, like, I just wasn't good for any kind of relationship. You know, oh, okay. I him and that the too. mother, yeah. you know, raising right. a kid. It's right. like, you know, how are you going to, how are you going to cook methamphetamine, shoot methamphetamine and raise a child? You know what I mean? So you, you, just, you just don't. School now bus. there's people yeah. that do though. And it, what's is interesting though. And it's like, that's how I justify because I just stopped showing up. I abandoned my son. Right. Yeah. But I, I, I would justify it in my mind and be like, you know, I'm not like these, uh, these meth cooks with their kids running around cooking meth and stuff, right. you know, and doing daddy daycare. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that, you know. So I'd be like, yeah, I'm a good dad or whatever. But you know, that, <laughs> 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 because no, I you. sacrificed. I sac. It, it was all about me. It's like, and that's some sick stuff. But you I know, did, when I, I look you. back on it, you know, because that was heartbreaking. Yeah. Over yeah. when you know you come to these. Uh, moments of clarity and you look back and you wish you had relationships with people right. okay. or you wouldn't uh, whatever yes. blah yeah, blah yeah, blah yeah. okay so, so then yeah. you look back and you want that right but you realize what you gave up for that yeah I get you know it. what i mean I for it. this I way of life and, right and you know yeah and so all, also what people may not be able to identify with is and, and we're going back to that same question of why people distance themselves from the drowning. But uh, people may not be able to fully understand or appreciate like most aspects of addiction or alcoholism. But the weight, the, the weight of self-pity, the weight of grief, the weight of remorse. Okay, I'm talking like, you, and we know, but I'm talking you know, a remorse that just cannot be quenched. Like, for example, I, I know a buddy of mine who, who, in a drunk driving accident, killed his fiance. okay? Not enough to get him sober, mm -mm. but could, what's the weight of that every fucking day? Mm. Another buddy of ours shot and killed his dad over painting a barn. Mm. Mm. He's, yeah. you know, he's out of prison, 
useful, productive member of society, you know, sober doing the deal. But my point is, I don't think most people know what that pit, the pit of despair looks like. Mm -hmm. But when you start stacking this stuff up, mm -hmm. broken relationships, my word's no good. I, can't, I just can't show up. It's not that this is, this is where people think. It's not, it's like, yeah, I didn't want to. Mm. Like when you come to, like, I want to be there. I do care. I care so much that it's killing me. Right. But I just can't execute. Like that's a, that's trouble. Right. Yeah. It almost comes. It's almost like it's, it's, you're almost a bondage. You're in bondage. You're, you're yeah. like a slave. Right. Right. Not an actual slave. Right. But emotionally. Not like okay. the ones in the basement. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> there's no slaves in the basement. No, no. I told the guys I was going to mention. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Little slaves uh, in the basement. Anyway, so, but, uh, sex hmm. slaves. No, no, no. Okay. So, okay. No, no so human all, trafficking. That's all I'm saying Let's is. Let's get off that. This, uh, so when you say I come to, or I wind up in prison or blah, blah, blah. There's a lot at work here versus just self-destruction. What, what I'm just highlighting is, is there's a whole emotional wave of despair, okay? That is just waterfalling, okay? And unless we deal with that long-term, obviously, it's like the drinks right there or the drug. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. give me that single thing which I can, boom, justify it, mm -hmm. and boom, out the door again. Like this happens over and over and over again. You know, so but I got addicted early on. I got yeah. addicted to like, you know, you drink too much and you do these insane yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And you can blame you can blame it on the alcohol. Of course. You can blame yeah. it on the drugs. Yeah. And I got addicted to that. Yeah, because, right. Okay. Right. And, and I would describe that as listen, there's don't ever get between someone and their victimhood. Yeah. Like you're just along for the ride mm -hmm. on the alcoholism mm -hmm. and addiction, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. If it's the second you tell yourself that, you're not you're not really responsible for what's happening. Yeah, yeah. And ultimately, you're responsible for the outcome of all decisions, right? Mm -hmm. But not. Well, yeah, I'm gonna drink and drug again, cause cause that's what it is to be alcoholic or drug addict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it just it's a. It's a built-in excuse. Yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And you're the victim of this twisted thinking or dysfunction or dis-ease or whatever. Or people like myself included, you know, childhood trauma, whatever, whatever. I mean, everybody's got something that they're dealing with. But it's like, uh, yeah, man. As soon as there's, there's, I don't think there's any stronger chain than victim status. Mm -hmm. Like it mm -hmm. is bound to keep me sick and tied to whatever it is. I'm well, it's, it's like, that is the go-to that is, that is the go-to for yeah. success and happiness. The drive for this, like, uh, somewhat like thing that we're supposed to do in life. It's like, Okay, so like I'd hear like parents or, or my parents or we're just trying to give you the life we never had or whatever. Right. It's like, oh, so my life's supposed to be better than yours. This drives on to be successful, to right. be happy, to be content or whatever that mm -hmm. yeah. means or however that shows up, right? But it's all about like more, 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 right? Well, uh, I want what they have. Materialism. Sure, it's not okay. fair for yeah. me, so I'm going to work harder. Yeah. And that drives so many people. Well, I'm going to work harder. It's like not, hey, let's let's benefit. I want to benefit my brother. I want to benefit people. I want to oh, help people. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I talked. missed out. Yeah. I, you know, you miss out on that with all this. Fucking, so what are you doing today? Uh, let's just let's narrow in mean? on. I want to narrow in on some. Okay. Well, I want to narrow in on. Who are you being helpful to today? Today? Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, you're here with me. Well, this is a yeah, help to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. You you know. And, you help and out. I try, around well, the house. you just kind of, you just kind of, basically, uh, 
you know, cause you don't know with a life, right? Like I'd hear people when I, when I was introduced into some recovery early on, I'd, uh, I'd hear people that are in recovery, you know, have these horrid stories, Yeah. you know, and they're being useful. Right. You know, and I, and I'd be like, how could that even be that, you know, but now I'm there. Right. You know, so from 19, I, I heard these stories of recovery. Right. And you're 42 and now, I, right? And I'd be you're like, 42. yeah, right. in like 20 years in and out of recovery, in and out of, yeah, uh, drug induced, you know, prisons, all kinds of, you know, incarceration. It's like, uh, whatever. Uh, so basically it's like, how can I be purposeful today? Right. And it's like in the simplest form, it's like, just get up and don't cause any bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Don't buy into my stuff. Right. Right. Don't implode. Don't do what I okay, right. want to so do. So here's a, a big it's, scale. It's like, okay, stop doing all this. Start doing some of this. And it takes yeah. a while and then to that write the stuff shift. Too. Yeah. Question that sometimes. Yeah, or I get it. Maybe. Right. And, and maybe stop and pause and do nothing. I get all that. Okay. Back to this question is why do people get out of the way of someone who's on self destruct mode? Why? Well, because it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Okay. It's dangerous. Yeah. Why else? Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. Okay, tell me, to, to, tell to, me to, how. To, <laughs> uh, just, to, again, you know, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to tweak you emotionally. Okay, so describe, describe maybe the way your mom feels when she drives to see you in prison while you're there. Mm, How's that? Mm. Like, if yeah, because it's like yeah, when you're on the opposite side. Like uh, for instance, I was in prison, uh, and I was getting high in prison. Right, right, and. Uh, I didn't know, you, you know, I got the weekend, you know, some, some dope hits the yard or whatever, you know, so I do a little peddling or whatnot, get some money sent, get a little dope, right? And, and, and so, you know, and I get high on a Saturday night, I think it was, and I got enough to get high like twice, you know, right. but it's some pretty fire shit, you know, so I'm all laid up in the, in the bunk all night long, and uh, in the morning I do a little bit more, you know, and... Uh, I'm sitting there and it's coming up on lunch. I get called to the, the bubble or whatever. And they say, yeah, you got to visit. And I'm like, oh, fuck. You know, I'm right. fucking nodded on shit, man. I'm at, you know, I'm riding yeah, this out. Saturday, but now I got to visit. Me, Sunday. So I'm hoping okay. it's like some tramp or something, you know. But it ends up, it's my mom. Right. And my daughter. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you're half and out of it. Yeah, you know, so, you know, you jump in the shower, splash some water in your face, go go up there, and it's like, you know, uh, like sitting there, and then the visit's fine, right? Mm. I'm, the guilt and shame ain't right then. But, like, after, you know, and, you know, you're getting a little sober, you know, and you just start realizing what what kind of maggot you are. It's like... I'm in here. I've left these people, right? They've repeatedly brought my daughter up to see me. Uh, they've repeatedly sent money in prison. They've repeatedly uh, tried to save my life, even when I didn't want to live. Right. You know? Yeah. And it's basically, call, well, we're going to do it. all yeah. this for you. Right. And you're in here doing the same thing. And, right, continuously... Just like, you know, it's like a slap in the face, you know? Yeah. Okay, so why do they, why, why would your son rap? Why would he just rather not interact with you than interact with you? Probably to save himself pain. Just the pain. Ache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Same th reason why I would distance myself from certain people, you know? Yeah. If, I, if I was like, I, you know... I mean, how would you, I, I mean, how do you, yeah, again, it's not a big puzzle. It's just that it's just easier. It's easier to remove myself than to be drugged through the mud while somebody's trying to kill themselves. Okay. Yeah. It's like it's your just, life. It's like your lifeboat fucking deal, you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, or sure, whatever. Sure. Right. But it's just, again, save, save myself the pain. People, I mean, it's I'm almost saying, like, this, here's what I'm saying too, is people are not distancing themselves because they don't love you and they don't want to help you. 
mm-hmm. or anybody. Mm-hmm. I'm saying it's if some if somebody's removing it's like if, themselves if it's from the end life, of the world, right? Like, and there's this virus going on, right? And you get it, and we're all healthy in here, yeah. right? We're all healthy in I'd here. Be like, why are they not hanging out? And with then me? and then you're outside, and everybody loves you and stuff, right? But you got the fucking virus, man. Right. We're not letting you in. Yeah. Like right? the Trump 2024 virus. <laughs> the, yeah, it, yeah. Inmates Don't for let Trump. Don't fucker in. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where's his daughter? He, yeah. Yeah. But it's like, hey. But you're not an inmate anymore. Okay, all right, all right. So it's like, keep that Fast guy forward. out. Don't bring Fast. the guy with the knife in, in the, the lifeboat. lifeboat. Yeah. The guy with the virus or the zombie apocalypse or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. You don't want to get, I, you know, that movie, uh, what is it? Uh, Dawn of the Dead, you know? It's like okay. the, the, the fucking, the fucking pregnant lady, you know? And the guy's like, he's like, he's wanting his baby born, but she's a zombie. So he, I guess he's thinking that like <laughs> his that, baby's not going to be a zombie. Okay. So he's got her tied down. Okay. Right? Yeah. And he's going to, you know, I guess deliver this zombie baby. And everything's gonna be all right. This is how delusional he <laughs> is. And then the other people stop that stop haven't stop been stop bit, it. they they run up on this deal, this situation. Uh, okay. You know, and they gotta take them all out. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. But stop. it's like that's the kind of shit. Like I've had like there was a woman in my life for a, a while <laughs> would keep me under. I was a zombie, right? And she would just keep me fed. She would just give me brains, you know, just keep me feeding. Yeah. I, right. Yeah. I, and everybody else was like, no, no, yeah, yeah, no, we want, you know, we want to stay. We don't want the, the virus. Right. Right. But she she's would like, just, let me just keep oh, you she sick. Just wanna, she yeah. yeah. Oh, you can be all yeah. mine. Mm-hmm. It's like misery. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So like it's like, Bates. so yeah, <laughs> tie you up to the bed. You're not going nowhere. So, self examination. Mm-hmm. What are people trying to do? What's everybody trying to do? Get what they want. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do they want? What does everybody want? I don't know. I don't know. I I would think. And a lot of times I would think that people want what I want. What right? is that? That's what I project. What, whatever it is, uh, success, happiness, contentment, uh, love, money, power, status, right? Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so to think, right, we were having this talk, it's like to think that... Um, People of power, money, stature, right? They're out there for the people, right? Like public servants, politicians, whatever. Right. Without personal agendas, it's kind of hard for me to believe, you know? And I think it's because, like, uh, you run, like, you know, in the dope game, it's very uh, engrossed because everybody's out for themselves. Right. But you, it's so evident. Yeah, I get it. It's belligerent. Right, I get right? it. Right? I get it. But out here in the world, we pretend, right, like that's not going on. Oh, right. But at some level, it is. Right. Okay. You know? Yeah. Because everybody has their own agenda. It's like the virtue thing. It's like to think, like me as a recovering alcoholic, well, I'm helping this guy. Because, yeah, I, I mean, I want him to, you know, I want him to not drink and drug and destroy his life and everyone around him. Right. But I also, you know, am doing it to save my ass because I know that for my life, right? Right. And and my sobriety, you know, putting, you know, putting my past with a purpose, you know, to help the next guy or, or, or gal, you know, stay sober one day at a time. It's like, hey, uh, yeah, there's still some, what, uh, what would you say? Like, uh, it's like a selfish, you know, they talk about a selfish program, right? Yeah. I've, yeah. You know, in, in, enlightened, you know. Is there such thing of just like complete, 
um, not attach service for another man or, or woman yeah, without a, a personal agenda I have on not, it. I have not experienced that. You know, I mean, my experience is if if you look at the deepest level, I get it's a, it's a philosophy of egoism. I there's no such thing as a selfless act. Mm. I get something out of everything I do. Mm-hmm. Okay, even mm-hmm. after the fact, let's say you got some heroic event. You know, firemen. I, I talked to a fireman about this. Mm. They got a fire. They go in. Da da da. You save somebody. Blah 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 blah. He described the kumbaya session back at the firehouse afterwards, okay? Mm-hmm. Where it's just a, a, I don't know, where it's a glorification of just a, you know, whatever. Yeah, you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, superheroes. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you climb that ladder real nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You yeah, chop down that door and. Okay, but that so that's baby. the point. But if, so if, if in an emergency situation you do something without even thinking about it, or you see these occasionally, you'll see these humble hero type people. Mm-hmm. Okay, or what or, about the situation where you have to save? There's two people, and you have to save one, and the other one dies. Yeah, I don't know. These are huh? hypotheticals. Yeah, hypotheticals, but, but it happens. No, I, I, right? I get it, but you know. There's like a painting. There's a painting that I seen the other day, and it's like uh, this guy's on shore, the father is drowning, right? And then the mother has the baby in the water. She's lifting up the baby, right? Right. And the guy on shore is reaching down for the father, and it's supposed to mean something about, you know, the father's supposed to be the past. The mother's like the present, the baby's the future right. kind okay. of deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it got me thinking. It's like, you know, you know, I, I, I used to think that I'd have this delusion of like I was like some sacrifice, right? Because, you know, I got sober when I was young and, and I was like, yeah. But when I relapsed, I was like, mm, you know, I, I thought I had a purpose of staying sober, right? But things changed in my head, and I'd be like, well, maybe I need to be the reason, right? The <laughs> martyr, or, or, or the reason why people get sober. It's because, yeah. hey, look at that fucking guy. We don't want to be like him. Right. You know, yeah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right? I, I understand. And, but there's, there's a lot of this can lend itself to further delusions, you know? Oh, yeah. So, uh, but, so uh, to address the thing about self-benefit like i get something i get something even if it's just to feel good about myself right so like at this base level i think people want community they want connection they want love they want to do some service we don't want to just you know in a you know uh hedonic sense just keep feeding my lower lusts and desires like that's you know that'll last about a week Mm -hmm. and It'll just be an endless pit. Right? I think so, the only real selfish act, really, that it is, that it's almost like if you could do something for another woman, man, whatever, right? Or, you know, a fucking animal, nature, whatever, right? Uh, that that kind of, like, sacrifices your, your plight, your fucking agenda, right? Yeah. And not tell anyone, ever. But that's the worst. That's the worst what? Because now you congratulate yourself for not telling anybody. But nobody will ever fucking know that. You will, though. I know. Well, And, and that's between you and, I mean, you can anyway, talk about I, God. I, I, anyway, maybe, that, my maybe. experience, my honest disclosure is when I've tried to do that So you're saying, So you're acts, saying if you do that, yep. you'll always remember. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, I didn't tell people. It's the, it's the most rewarding spirit. And how does that show up, though? Right? It's, if you do that. Yeah. Will anybody ever, like, notice that? No, They're like, oh, that me. guy's a fucking... The spiritual you know. ego? Oh, yeah? Oh. Yeah, but how does that show up, though? I just think I'm just... I'm doing the right thing for the right reasons. I'm just a great guy. And I'm just... Blah, 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 yeah, but blah. what's wrong with that? Well, it's... First of all, it's not accurate. 
It's not real. Who, to whom, though? No, no, no. I'm saying real in the sense of I can't even acknowledge the ego feeding part of it. But I'm going to take the self-fulfilling part of it, okay? In the selflessness of the act, and I'm just going to ride that till the sunset. Listen, no, no, no. So, for example, I, for example, I did not serve in the military. I know some people <laughs> that did. My grandfather did. Okay, what are you promised for this sacrifice you make when you serve in the military? What are you promised by your culture, by your nation? I, I, I don't know. A life's worth of pride, like good pride or even false pride, right? Yeah, I never looked at it like that. Okay, well. Like uh, that's what you would think you would get out of it. Is that why you would, like if you had the option to I'm go just, serve. I'm just, well, here's what I'm looking right? at. Here's what I'm looking at. You go to the front of the line. You get the military discount. You get the, the burial. You get the sacrifice and an honor of the, the culture, okay? The warrior does. Mm -hmm. it's a, it is, it's both a sacrifice, but then a lifetime worth of prideful payoff, mm -hmm. okay? It's got to be. Mm -hmm. it's, we're talking about people, mm -hmm. you know? So... All I'm saying is, I, I, all I'm saying is, at the root of all this, I want to feel good about myself. Okay? Whatever it is. You hold the door open for the old lady. You work with new people. You, you, your philanthropy. Your anonymous. What about this? Your what anonymous about donation to the university. Mm -hmm. You don't think you go to bed knowing that you're such a humble servant? person no i'm gonna be a humble servant by not donating to a <laughs> university that's teaching a bunch of bullshit you know well uh, you yeah, know okay. propaganda yeah or whatnot. anyway yeah, yeah that's a whole nother that's a whole nother thing okay yeah. so all right let's well i mean it goes to support your idea you know and but your agenda of rewriting history what do you of what where you we've about? been propaganda and where agenda? we're going what did you talk what are you talking yeah. about yeah yeah so you know, the whole thing, it, 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 basically, what about this, though? What if you have an opportunity to take advantage of someone, right? And it's, and it's easy. It's an easy take. And you know it, right? Give me the context. And I... you don't, right? Okay, okay. Now, would like that... Like helping someone who's vulnerable, let's say. A child or a t woman or someone who's... No, it's vulnerable. like candy from a baby. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So do you take the candy just because you can? Or if you don't take the candy, does that pump the ego too? You're like, man, I'm a good guy because I didn't... You know. Yeah, well, so... I was thinking this because I was at McDonald's the other day and I was getting a couple little brisket or uh, uh, breakfast biscuits and uh, I got a water. I got a cup for water. Right. Yeah. But when I was going over to the fucking drink thing, I was thinking in my head, all those other beverages, right, mm -hmm. look a lot tastier than water. Right. And I kind of got thirsty for sugar, right. to tell you the truth. And uh, but I was thinking in my head, like how that is in the world. I mean, that is a, a, a big problem in the world. Right. Right? With people in general. Just take the opportunity and da 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 da. Yeah, okay. That's Always. great. Well, no. Always. Right? If you want to sleep with yourself with all that f a complete backpack worth of bullshit, I stole here, I lied there, bah, 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 bah. this stuff accumulates. Yeah, but how do you. How, what I'm saying is, so how do you? So not? you don't oh, do that, okay? And then right? what's the outcome of that? Yeah. Well, I think there's this. And earlier, we're like, do less of this and more of that, uh -huh, okay? Uh -huh. I think there's a there's a situation, or let's say a state. Let's talk about a state. Mm -hmm. There's this state of neutrality, where. 
the, the point of this, uh, you know, let's say attribution, this is good. This is bad. This is a liability. This is an asset. Mm. I do this for unselfish reasons. I do this for <laughs> selfish reasons. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm so, those are attributions. Yeah. That's all fucked though. What is, you know, like when we start trying, this to, is what I'm telling you. Yeah. So th- I think we start trying to make those, uh, yeah, I think there's a point of neutrality between the two. It's like, stop claiming one or the other. Mm. Like do as you do. If there's an opportunity to be helpful and you want to be helpful, just do it. Shut up about it. Inside. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm mm-hmm. saying inside. Uh, if there's an opportunity, well, I help somebody who is vulnerable. Blah, 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 I didn't steal the candy from the baby. Uh, okay. Well, don't, you, you know, you're not ready for sainthood. There is mm-hmm. no sainthood. Okay. Mm-hmm. What you really did was you, that part of me that wants to take advantage of the weak or the vulnerable, Mm -hmm. I didn't allow myself to do that. That doesn't mean that that part's not still there. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that now that I didn't do that, now I could turn that, right? I could turn the absence of that into some self-serving thing. Gee, ain't I a nice guy? We know some real dirt bags that are caught in this self-fulfilling balloon right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know uh jc is one of them and then the other kid you know Mm -hmm. uh uh, (laughs) what (laughs) i'm just saying i mean i've met some real piece of shit people Mm -hmm. and even people that have convinced themselves they're doing well they're doing good they're doing good service try to you know old uh but it's almost like i know that because, because i, it's I part am of me. them yes i, I am of course. them of course okay and and i remember i remember early on when i was introduced to a certain recovery you know practical action and whatnot you know you're helping you know you just go out there help somebody you know yeah. get out of your head yeah. blah 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 you know but, you know, after you do enough of that and you realize what's going on, yeah, you get that kind of ego with it. And, and that helps you, like, hide what's going on. So it, it's like, you Oh, know, you, you distraction through busy work. Right. Right, 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 right. right, right, right. right. Never confuse and, activity and, with and, and progress. You, you attach, right? Yeah. You attach yourself to some kind of identity. Okay, fine. Like sure. you're yeah, yeah. some sir, you know, mm-hmm. you're some, yeah, yeah just yeah. whatever. Sure. You know. And then, but listen, in the big scope of things, it's still far better, right? We're talking about the fine tuning, right? Uh-huh. It's still far better to take all these positive actions. But like, well, okay, for my, ones. for here's one. So like for, for, my personal deal. So, you know, I'm doing all the right things. I, and I was sober at the time, you know, but I, I, I can't go in to, and I don't know if I should be talking about this, but th- there are certain stores that I would, I would go into. And, and I have this <laughs> idea in my head and uh, this might be incriminating, but uh, so, but I would go into certain stores and I would uh, feel like, you know, these corporations, right. And this Americanized society that we live in. Oh, sorry. Quit sorry. banging on yeah, the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's like they are taking. They are taking. And and I and I love. I. It, it's almost like I want to be like Elliot. Uh, What's that? Elliot Davis. You know. Elliot I want to S. investigate. You know. But you know these corporations are are completely. Um, I feel like they just take advantage of people consistently. You know, overpriced stuff. They got, you know, little China kids sewing up shit, you know, making little trinkets and computer chips, all kinds yeah. of stuff. And then, you know, they're, you know, getting it for five okay. cents. Okay. I mean, how you know, does that it comes over here you and they charge what, like 20 bucks for something? You know what I'm saying? And then, so basically, and then we go in and we're like, you know, but and you we don't we're, have to we're buy consumer, it. Wait, wait, you know, hold, hey, I know, I know. we need it, you know, we but need, listen, we need it, right. you know, I, you know, you, you don't know, have whatever. to buy it. Right. I, and, and this is, that's my deal. Okay. Well, but, I need it. Right. Because you're fucking no. pumping the advertising, right? 
You're pumping oh, you're, the advertising. You're causing me to be a criminal. So now I need it. I want to consume this item. Right. Right? And I'm going to steal But it. I'm not going to fund your fucking bullshit. Right? Okay. So I will take from you. So now, right? My whole idea on that is still like implanted in my <laughs> head. Like, but today, I, I, I can't act on it today. Yeah. Well, I can't, right? Yeah, because of you the, couldn't act on it then. But I have acted I on know. it several times. But it, here's the thing. Right. Here's the thing. It, it, it's like, uh, so what do I get for not acting on it today? You know what I'm saying? Well, you don't get the negative results from taking negative action. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You don't necessarily get a positive thing. Right. Just positive actions tend to produce, tend to produce positive results. Negative actions, thoughts, whatever. Again, more stimuli, more back to the stimuli from the beginning. Negative actions, thoughts, stimuli tend, tend to produce negative. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. And now if you, you map this on to a lifetime, you know, maybe you're pretty peaceful. If you mm -hmm. write the ship. But no, no sainthood? <laughs> no, man. I mean, what? who's trying to do what, right? People are trying to look good, feel good. What, in a community? In a congregation? From one mm. to one to one? Like, I'm going to tell you how great I am. What? For why? Let's take people we know that have started their own churches. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna sacrifice for the flock. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, behind that curtain is a world of ego feeding. Mm -hmm. Okay, and hypocrisy yeah. and you all know, the rest of it. Yeah, but it's almost like, I mean, you can relate to that though. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's talk about this. Rephetic, yeah. What the book? Okay. Okay. So you have this plight. This listen. Okay. You know, anyway, fine. No, no. Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you. So. But even before, as you've told me, you've had this this vision. Maybe maybe some voices attached to this. It's a. But listen, there's a difference between. A, but listen, you want a to give this to someone. What are you saying? For what though? What's your agenda? You have already, we've already talked about this and you didn't accept my answer. Well, let's, let's, I, I, so. Okay, let me re, let me reframe what it is you're saying. First of all, first of all. In your words. No, factually, <laughs> the, the words can only be mine. Okay, so I'm driving along. Yeah, but I'm asking the question. You're just rephrasing it in your words. So, no, what I'm saying is, so, is basically on our personal agendas right these guys that go out and they do this and they say oh well i'm just sacrificing i'm just doing this for the people and i just want to better yeah, this okay, and sure, i'm helping right, everyone right. And, and behind it though is an ego or, or, or a personal yeah, agenda in everybody, for right. whatever and everybody has that it's the on. carrot and the stick basically, it's i'm gonna it's be a like, good i'm gonna be a good religious observant mm -hmm. As long as I get to go to heaven. Yeah. If you took away the carrot, uh -huh. what, now what are you willing to do? Yeah, because the hypocrisy is like, I've, I've sat in many churches and in many yeah. different settings like that going on. And, and, and I can spot the hypocrites because okay. I'm a hypocrite. How about the whole thing is hypocritical? Right. The whole okay. system yeah. at large. Right. So it's like my job, what I feel like. For my own self-interest, <laughs> like the mirror. For me surviving, you yeah. Your hypocrisy. For me surviving, no, I because it. I know yeah. when I live like that, I cannot live like that. Yeah, you have the risk. I can't think There's, like right, that. Of course, because when I think like that, for some You're reason, at risk. I am. Yeah, I yeah. will self-destruct. I know. I will destroy myself. Right. And, and for whatever reason, I can't think like those other men and women that do that. Right. I know. What I'm but saying, then, yeah, though, go ahead. is. Is is I can relate to their plight. Yeah, I get I it. Can I can relate it. to the agenda. Yeah, and listen because here, let who me just wouldn't? Listen. Yeah, I know. Of course, you know. Let me just let me let me inject this. So, what the concept you're talking about is that some people have to really examine this stuff at a minute level. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Most everyone else does not. They don't have to, okay? They don't have to gruel in on the self-examination and the spot and the hypocrisy or the brutal honesty with friends, family, whomever, mm -hmm. right? And self, brutal honesty. Um, most people don't have to do that. You have to do that. I feel like I have to do that because your very lives depend on not being delusional. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. talking yourself into that next drink or drug again okay mm -hmm. so those people that have like they've the worm is turned they now cannot trust their thinking they cannot trust themselves right so it's super important that we be clear as day as to what these motivations are what this on the depth of honesty okay yeah because I, I would, there's certain times where I've had periods of sobriety. I get in, you know, sobriety and I'd be doing the right thing, right? And people would get behind me on yeah. what I was doing. Sure. Right? Right. In the same way that yeah, compliments these other men and, and women. Compliments, right? compliments and support is just as damaging as condemnation. Or it can be. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, we're talking about all of this in terms of ideas and mm -hmm. potential and th philosophically, but now let me just a rephrase your question, but B give you my, you did not accept my motivation. Last time we talked about this. It's like, I'm driving along. I'm peaceful. My mm -hmm. life's falling apart, mm -hmm. right? Through yeah. a bunch of series of things. And I have a daydream. I have a, listen, it's a creative vision and voice. Mm -hmm. which is different, uh, seems different from a delusional voices, okay? Mm -hmm. in, in some sense of madness, okay? Or something, <laughs> no, 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 I'm just telling you that, that I think there's a significant difference. You may not, you may think they come from the same place. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, they are very closely related. Okay, I'm, they may yeah. be very closely related, yeah. but what I'm saying is I have a daydream, uh -huh. a vision, a voice, mm -hmm. and it spells it out for me. Okay. This just a visual concept of how the pyramids were built. Mm -hmm. And then the only reason to pursue that, let me tell you, I've got a thousand reasons not to pursue it. It's too much time. It's too much effort. It's beyond my, at the time, skills and knowledge. It might still be, right? I got a thousand reasons not to pursue this single- So what's driving you? This is what's what I'm trying to, to fucking tell you. <laughs> well, okay? I'm, I'm waiting, yeah. I, no, I've already told you, you didn't, you didn't- Well, I'm waiting now. Okay, fine. Okay. But I'm talking about this, I'm explaining to the audience, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's a lot of reasons to not do it, mm -hmm. tons. Mm -hmm. Partly, I'm 14 years in and it's not done yet, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, that mm -hmm. in and of itself is like, well, there's a plenty of reasons why it's not done yet. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to talk about those? Okay, so tell me why you would do it. That's a whole nother thing. And my guess, and other people I've talked to, there's, there's a, a bunch of potential. There's a bunch of potential reasons or motivation, let's say, okay? So I can, you can get some messianic cult leader complex of, you know, get money, fuck bitches, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Like people can go that way, like your boy Trump. Is that messianic? Just grab him by the pussy, <laughs> put my face on Mount Rushmore, <laughs> put my face on the money, okay? Right? Pussy grabs. There's that side, and I know I know that side of me, and that that could be a motivation, right? I just want my name in lights. Here's my book, blah blah blah. <gasps> mm -hmm. Okay, there is that, and that's a potential motivation. Mm -hmm. There's another potential. Well, so that ends disastrously, in case you don't know. Okay, <laughs> that motivation ends disastrously. Then there's another motivation. Here's the other motivation. Okay. I could say humble service to the people. It's not about me. 
Okay? Right? Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm saying about neutrality. How about somewhere in the middle? It's just stop with this or that. Oh, there's a phone ringing. How about just do it because it's in front of you? How about do it because you had the idea or the inspiration? What do you think about that? Hmm. Yeah, but there's no, uh, you know, on a moment to moment basis, I, I guess, you know, if I was in your situation yeah. and doing what you were doing, I, I, you know, it's hard for me to, at this point in the game, if I was where you were at, not obtaining to one or the, it'd be hard to stay in that without some kind of drive, right? You know, maybe it's taken so long because you've tried to take this point of neutrality. Not think of some of these, what you're saying. Think of some of these, you know, successful people that come up with these creative ideas and they just do. I mean, there's that drive there, you know, and in I mean, it, it may smell or, or spell destruction for I, us. I'm not, right? I, I know, but I'm OK. All I know so far, and even with the podcast, the popular discussion, mm -hmm. I just want to share, mm -hmm. try and walk some line. There's an idea, set of ideas, quest came from questions, mm -hmm. right? Childlike, innocent questions. That's all. And so exploring those and then sharing what that looks like, that's it, dude. That's mm -hmm. it. Jeremy and I talked about this. So, okay? Yeah, Jeremy... But it's like the, the only, you don't need a reason to cross a river. You just need a river. How about it's just there? Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. But I can tell you that the extremes of the motivation, like we're talking about, the extremes, mm -hmm. ah! I'm staying out of both of those. Man. Yeah, and that's that's uh... and attribution after the fact. You know, we ran into the building because we're selfless. Well, what's with the ego party? It's mm -hmm. not selfless, right? I serve because I'm humble service and sacrifice. But in the moment, in the moment, it's a trick. It's a yeah, trick. But you don't not run in. You do it right. It's Maybe. afterwards. Okay, yes. Afterwards. But you don't claim that it's selfless. You don't claim that it's selfless. You don't claim that your sacrifice is for this or this or this or this or this. Okay? On the positive or the negative. Because it's both. Mm. It, and it's always present. It, this Again, this is mm -hmm. just my estimation. I might be wrong. Mm -hmm. but as far as I've looked at it. So... Yeah, because there's been there's been uh, there's been evidence of this like duality of the situation. Yeah, because I've it's done things new. in the moment, right? Have been very selfless acts, right? right? In the moment, right? But there's been times where I've attached, right? Yeah, demands after the fact or whatever, yeah. or you know, <laughs> attached like demands or expectations. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. that. Sure. But in the moment, yeah. I didn't want nothing. I'm sorry. I was about doing that, it because it was the right way. You're getting a little violent, but that's no, right. I'm just anyway. So it's dude. You know what I'm saying though? Yeah. It's like, for instance, I'll go do this. I'll go do that. I'll help out. You know, blah 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 blah. You go save somebody, oh, yeah, if you right? And it's like you know, it. at that. But you know, like five years later, you know, you need something from this person. Or you want this person to look at you or validate something, yeah, I get blah, it. blah, blah, I get it, or whatever. But I'm just, I'm then saying. all of a sudden it comes up and you're like, you remember. What did I do? I know. I Score, this, listen, you know, this is, right? just, I know, this, but this is whole, scorekeeping. Whole this, thing. this is just nonsense scorekeeping. But, but what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, though, is it doesn't really, in that moment, though, you can almost claim selfless egoless you can claim whatever you want practical you can claim whatever you want but it's it goes and it's gone and all i'm saying is hindsight when we look back on it you look back on years or life or interactions your relationships whatever the best relationships the best friendships the whatever 
are not, there's no scorekeeping. There's just being, Mm. there's just doing. We're not busy making all these attributions and you know, I'm, I'm keeping some score in my head, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I want to be peaceful. So I'm just going to approach it that way. You do whatever the fuck you want, you know? <laughs> but, well, you know. Uh. Anyway, so we'll, we'll wrap things up, but I love you, buddy. And uh, whose phone is that? Uh, a scooter guy. <laughs> Getting a scooter. Yeah, call, answer that. Let's see what he's got. Put him on speaker. Hello? Yeah, this is this is Chris. Hey, are you still going by to look at the scooter? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm doing a podcast now on the pyramids and whatnot. What time you uh you want me to swing by there? Uh, I mean, I thought you were gonna be coming by like five ish. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, it's uh it's ran a little late, so we're gonna have to um. Oh, it's six, six. So a little after six. Where are you at, anyways? Uh, on Fifth Street, right by QT. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm right down there. So I'll I'll text you when this is over. Be there twenty okay. minutes. All right. All right. I'll be waiting. All right. All right. Is it? This guy's been blowing me up on the scooter deal. You're gonna get that? Well, he's got one for seven fifty. Right down the street. 750. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> dude, easy to thank you. We'll do more conversations, mm-hmm, okay? Mm-hmm, but yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to wrap this up. All right. I, I hope the people enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Love you, buddy. All right. Love you too. Okay. See you. Right. To know who we are, where we are, and where we're going, we must know how we arrived here. Welcome to Rephetic, a revolutionary study of the Great Pyramid, which promises to rewrite civilization's history.